I'm Dr. David Hill, and today we're going to be talking about probiotics for infants. So let's talk about what a probiotic is. A probiotic is a bacteria that is supposed to live inside your body. Now, a lot of us think of bacteria as an infection, as a bad thing, and some of them are. There are bacteria that do all sorts of horrible damage. Pneumococcal bacteria are not supposed to be in your body. Staphylococcal bacteria, some of them, like Staph, uh, staph epidermidis, live on the skin and don't cause any problems. Others, like Staph aureus, can cause severe and life-threatening disease. So many bacteria are dangerous. But we're learning more and more that there are a lot of organisms that help us do things like digest food, for example. These organisms are supposed to live in places like our intestines, and they even help fight off disease and help us function. These organisms are called probiotics because they're good for us. You can almost think of the human body as, as a colony, not just you, but you and all those billions of bacteria that live in you and help keep you healthy and function. We're learning more and more about how these bacteria help even newborn infants survive in the hostile outside world. Now, an infant is sterile until born. I guess it's a fetus until it's born, but the fetus is sterile. The first colonization with bacteria happens in the birth canal, and we now know that infants who are born vaginally automatically pick up some protective bacteria that help protect them against diseases of the lungs, the nose, and the intestines. These bacteria may even protect babies against colic, that inconsolable crying that gets really bad at six weeks of age and usually goes away by three months of age. Another place that babies pick up good bacteria is by nursing. So even if your baby was uh, born by cesarean section for some reason, you can still nurse and give that baby some really good bacteria. Bacteria. In fact, we're finding out now that one of the reasons all babies seem to spit up a little bit may be that the spit up actually helps colonize the airway with protective probiotic bacteria. Now, there are a lot of claims made by a lot of products, both commercially manufactured formula and probiotic products that you may buy in the store, that those products may protect the baby in the same ways that natural probiotics that would be acquired from the birth canal or from nursing protect the baby. The data on these things can be very iffy. The strongest scientific evidence that we have is that probiotic supplements, including lactobacillus, uh, can help babies who are having viral diarrheal illness or diarrhea as a result of taking antibiotics, they can help those babies get better faster. There really are now some pretty strong data, some pretty well-constructed studies that suggest, yeah, that's true. If your baby's on antibiotics or if your baby has a viral diarrheal illness, those probiotics may help. The other studies are a little iffier. While it would be nice to think that putting probiotics in a pill or in baby food or in baby formula would give the baby the same advantages that the baby gets by getting them from the birth canal or from breastfeeding, the jury is still out on that. There's probably not a lot of harm in trying that, but anybody who makes a really grandiose claim that giving your baby supplemental probiotics will do all the good things that natural probiotics will do is probably stretching the truth a little bit. So take those claims with a grain of salt. You might talk to your baby's medical provider about, here, about what he or she knows because new data are coming out every day and something new may be out there. So talk to your baby's provider. Talking about probiotics for infants, I'm Dr. David Hill.